Hi, the message today is about staying in the light of love. I've heard so many experiences from a variety of different people, both in the receptive and in the, and in the giving mode with regard to um, challenges that they're faced. Some could be relationship-oriented, such as attracting narcissistic people due to overloving and overgiving, or attracting people that are abusive due to not loving yourself or attracting people in school that are acting like bullies because you allowed them and you became a victim to it. It's not about fighting back, it's about staying in the light of love. What about at work where you have a nuisance that keeps bugging you or looks at you in a way and you personalize it thinking something is wrong or they don't like you or you're fearful you're gonna lose your job because the boss is looking at you in a weird way or talks to you in a weird way or Harassment. I mean, there's so many different stories where you experience buying something, having um, items being sent to you that are defective a few times, and then being blamed for it. So you feel like you're on trial only for them to apologize, but then they still accuse. And so stay in the light of love. If you don't stay in the light of love, you're feeding their truth, not yours. And guess what happens? You create more of that to experience until you finally say, this is not my truth. I'm not going to feed the lies. I'm not going to allow others to bully me. I'm not going to allow others to make me feel like I'm the guilty one. I'm not going to allow others to uh, make me feel I'm unlovable. All of that is their issues, not yours. But if you hate or judge, you're stooping to their vibration and then you only not only attract more of those experiences because we live in a vibrational planet. Whatever you put out, you attract. Whatever you focus on, you create more of. If you choose to assist your own inner being, some people want to have revenge. It's not about any of that. They're crying for love. Christ used to say, forgive them for they not know any better. It's where their consciousness is at. They don't know any better. They may have been bullied. They may have been abused. They may have had hard lives. And so you trying to fight back or, or accuse them even more or get angry doesn't make the situation any better. It only feeds the fire and creates a burning effect. The best thing to do is come from compassion, self-love, and if needed, just walk away from the experience but stay in the light of love. If it means self-love only, stay in self-love. If it means coming from compassion and showing them what real love is rather than the, than the abusive love or the hate love that they personally experience, stay in the light of love and shine it on to them. And that will help them to wake up their own inner truth if they choose. But you're not responsible for their choices. You're not responsible for saving them. You are not responsible for fixing or teaching or caretaking them. The only thing you're responsible for is your own inner beingness, your own inner care, your own inner love, your own inner place of being, and then taking that and sharing that in the world. If you look to give and then want an expectation of some return, that is not real love. That's conditional love. Real unconditional love is giving from a place or sharing rather from a place of fullness and there's no expectations of return. It doesn't mean you stay in the connection. If you don't get something, it's about being in that place of if you choose to share or give in any form of matter, whether it's giving something like material items or sharing something like love, you have to realize or you don't have to. It's important to realize that if you choose to do it rather than feel obligated to do it, you're doing it from a place of unconditional love, unconditional giving, such as material items, without expecting anything in return or being disappointed if you don't get anything back because you have chosen unconditionally to share or give some material items. And if you go to that experience with a wanting something back attitude, then that's conditional based giving or loving. And that's where you get yourself in trouble. Not them, but you, because you're the one that's playing victim. 
You're the one that's getting upset. You're the one that's personalizing. It's no longer about them. It's all about yourself. So stay in the power of self-love. Fill up your inner self with your connection to divine truth, to divine love. Get whole and complete within yourself. And then you feel complete, so happy, so full that you get to share it with others. My name is Angelica Rose. I'm an angel messenger. We are see, feel, and hear angels. I also am an author of a number of ebooks, books, audio products, inspirational stickers, as well as a four part online series called Your Spiritual Journey to Divine Love. And I also have meditation classes, being a certified hypnotist, and angel message sessions. So much to explore. The website is angelroselove.wix.com forward slash love. That's A N G E L R O S E L O V E dot Wix, W I X dot com forward slash love. Remember, love always wins. Stay in the light of love and include yourself in the process. Have a beautiful day. Much love.